what's up everybody welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be working on this 2000 Subaru Impreza I'm gonna be swapping in the motor so this is like a newer version but I'm assuming it's the same block um, as this one uh, I don't know what's wrong with this one they just uh, asked me to pull it out and and drop this one in I already I'm already able to see a couple of differences like on the coil pack the coil pack on this one is on top and on this one is on the bottom well not on the bottom but it's on the back over here um, it looks like somebody already started working on the car so I'm just gonna pull this one out not worry about anything and when I drop this one in I'm just gonna drop in the bare block and I'm gonna swap uh, I'm gonna be swapping the accessories from um, from actually from this one to this one so I'm gonna go ahead and set it up because it's not set up I just drove it in here I'm gonna go ahead and set it up on the lift and I'm gonna start pulling out this motor okay so now I got it on the lift I'm gonna start taking everything off I'm gonna leave the power steering pump in here I'm just gonna put it on the side and uh, the compressor I don't know if it's charged I'll check it but if it is I'm just gonna put it on the side and pretty much like I said I'm gonna disconnect a couple of lines hoses wires and um, I'm just gonna try to pull everything out in one piece and when I have it outside I'll start swapping in uh, accessories so I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this out okay so I'm ready to pull out the motor I already disconnected everything so I mean it's not loose but it's gonna be loose right now I think I removed everything I just gotta remove the heater these two heater hoses and that's it so I'm gonna pull out this motor and then um, I'm just gonna check to see um, what I'm gonna be using and what I'm not gonna be using I already went underneath I disconnected the exhaust and um, I removed the the bolts for the motor mounts so as soon as I remove those Hitter hoses, I'm gonna pull out the motor. And now uh, here's the uh, the starter, so everything's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those hoses now. Okay, so here it is, it's already out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start taking all the accessories off of this one. And um, I'm gonna take the accessories off of that one as well. And uh, I'm gonna get that one ready so I can throw everything that um, that uh, that one's gonna need from this one and once i'm ready um i'm just gonna drop it in um i gotta make sure that one looks like it came off of uh, automatic uh this one has a clutch so i'm gonna check the clutch right now and if it needs a clutch uh, it looks like it might need a clutch uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and throw a new clutch well depending on the what the owner says if the owner wants a new clutch then we'll just throw a new clutch but um but here it is Okay, so I took the clutch off of this one, and it does need replacement. This one's pretty worn out already, so you can see how worn out it is. But um, I already got another clutch, and I also sent the flywheel. It doesn't have the flywheel anymore. I got it resurfaced already. So I'm going to start taking this motor apart. I'm going to remove all the accessories. I'm going to bolt on the new clutch, and once I get it ready, I'm going to drop it in the car. Okay, so I took off everything from the motor I'm gonna be using and also from the motor that um, I pulled out. Uh, I'm gonna be using a couple of things from this motor like the this water tube right here and also the intake injectors, all the sensors, the, the motor mounts, that bracket, that it's, it's like a dust cover for the clutch. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start getting this motor ready. I'm gonna bolt on everything that I took off from this one, uh, get it ready and I'm gonna drop it in the car. Okay, so I'm installing the clutch right now. I'm gonna finish doing that in a minute. And then I gotta bolt on those motor mounts. If they're the same, I'll probably leave them on, the one that um, the motor has right now. But if they're different, I'm gonna use those. And uh, everything else is already bolted on and connected. So I'm pretty much done putting the motor together. I just gotta remove that exhaust. I'm not gonna use that exhaust because it's, it's not gonna bolt onto the, the original one on the car. Okay, so the motor is in. I just gotta connect everything i gotta bolt everything down and that should be it so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna bolt down the motor mounts the transmission i'm gonna connect all the hoses all the connectors and um, i'm gonna get it running once i get it running I'll, I'll come back with you guys okay so i finished the car but it didn't start because i didn't replace these two pulleys these are the original from the uh, 2.5 and apparently when you use the 2.0 you gotta replace these pulleys or else it won't start because they 
provide a different signal than the 2.0 so i'm gonna go ahead and replace them and then we'll see if it starts okay so i swapped the pulleys these are the ones that came with the um the 2.0 so they are different from the other ones so i already swapped them i already put everything back i'm adding the antifreeze so i'm gonna turn it on right now i'm gonna get it out of here and then i'm gonna drive it outside and make sure everything's working properly